So hi everyone, welcome. Today we are talking about the five things, not ten. We're talking about five things that you are doing right now. Yeah, you. You're doing right now and it is totally, totally messing up your hair. So these things are going to help you. So you better get a piece of paper, jot down notes because you know when I start talking and I'm sitting down in my comfy chair, I'm serious about what I'm saying, okay? So for those of you that have not joined our Facebook live chat, we do a live chat every Sundays at 3 p.m. Join us there. It's Facebook on Facebook, Discovery Natural Channel. And if you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe when you see that picture, round picture of us with our faces. Please subscribe because we'll really like you guys to join our channel. We appreciate you and we love you. So let's talk about this five things that you're doing that we really want you to stop doing. The first thing, you are overusing it. You're using heat too much on your hair. Now, I have a problem pronouncing my H, so if you guys are thinking I'm talking about it, no, I'm not. I'm talking about heat. You know, the curling iron, the blow drying, the whatever, you're using it too much on your hair. Heat as a way of actually drying out your hair really badly it has a way of changing the structure of your hair and it also has a way of changing the way your hair accepts moisture and retains moisture so if you can do without blow drying your hair every now and then you can give what i did see this yeah this looks as if i blow dried my hair no i didn't this is called african trading and you can try that method by clicking that pop-up that just popped up right now and that will show you how to do African trading. Now the next thing that you are doing that you need to stop doing is the combing on dry hair. When your hair is super dry, this is not the time for you to start combing it, you know, here and there, combing there, you know, you have to stop it. Okay, stop it right now. What you need to do is that before you start combing your hair, Take a spritz of water. Just take some water, um, put some oil in it. You don't even have to. <laughs> but take some water, put some oil in it, spray it around your hair, and then comb it in sections. I Trust me, when you do that, you're not going to be breaking your hair. You're not going to be creating split ends and all those things that don't have to happen. You're not going to be creating breakage when there's no need to have breakage. So try that out. The third thing is you are not detangling your hair very well. Now, I'll tell you something. When you don't detangle your hair well, your hair is going to keep on locking on each other. When you detangle your hair, you're actually creating barriers between your hair strand so that you don't have that ability to like lock up on each other and cause tangles and knots. By detangling your hair well with the right amount of oils, amount of creams, amount of conditioner, whatever you want to do, that will help you to reduce breakage and not further damage your hair. The fourth thing is you are using the wrong products. What am I saying? You are using the wrong products. <laughs> the wrong products. Yeah, so products are meant to be used in a particular way. We all know that. We all know that you're not supposed to be washing your hair with a deep conditioner. Or maybe it's only me that knows that. Well, anyway, we all know that you're not supposed to be doing some things that you're doing. Products have directions. The directions are there for a purpose. When you buy a product, if the product says leave in for five minutes, I beg you, leave it in for five minutes. Stop leaving it overnight. If you're using products that are not working for your hair, why do you keep on using it? You do not have to keep on using it. So use the product according to how the product says. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you guys don't crucify me. Everybody's gonna say, oh, I like doing this. I like leaving my products overnight. It works better for me. Well, if it works for you, fine but when you use a wrong product for the wrong thing if a product says that it is not meant to be used 
to cleanse your hair and you use it to cleanse your hair and you wonder why your hair is not growing it is because your fall your scalp the follicles the pores they are blocked out you know use a shampoo when it costs to use a shampoo don't be using ordinary conditioners to wash your hair and complaining that what is that white stuff on my scalp why do i have flakes why this and why that <laughs> use the right products all the time according to how they decide that you should use it okay please <laughs> yeah i wasn't about to use this rat tail comb on my hair was i now, the thing is this rat tail combs are not meant to be used to comb your hair if you are at a hairstylist anywhere if they start using a rat tail comb to comb your hair please smack them in the hand and tell them that they are damaging your hair do not yeah do not use a rattle comb to comb your hair because when you use a rattle comb to comb your hair, it's not actually doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing anything. So a rattle comb is meant to be used to, you know, create parts in your hair. It's not meant to be used to comb your hair. So let's toss that rattle comb and let's use the white tooth comb or the diamond comb or whatever. And of course, you know, use it on dry hair no were you taking notes anyway that's it for today i hope you guys like this i got this request from one of my lovely subbies i love you guys i appreciate you guys i thank you guys we have crossed over 70,000 subscribers and we're so happy about that if you guys like our videos please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you've done your subscribe and share please and please remember check out our other channel dn vlogs live you're gonna see the videos start popping up very soon but check out dn vlogs live our family channel we have a giveaway going there some cash giveaway you know so check that out and also subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye